Scary things caught on camera. Shadow people. The ghosts of Carmel. A man named Kent says that he began to experience strange occurrences after moving into his house in Carmel, Maine. He says that he began to hear odd noises in the middle of the night and see strange apparitions all around his home. Another thing that's going on non-stop is they say my name. I mean, constantly they're saying my name. It wouldn't surprise me a bit if they don't say my name right now. After doing some investigation, he found that his house had once been owned by an undertaker and that the residence served as a funeral home from the years 1906 to 1919. Kent began to post videos of his strange encounters to his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. I'm uploading a YouTube video now. In this investigation of his house, an odd voice seems to repeat what Kent is saying. I think I heard a knock on that door. I think I heard a knock on that door. The tone of the voice almost sounds like the spirit is mocking Kent, but you be the judge. I think I heard a knock on that door. And the story gets even creepier. In this clip, Kent begins to hear strange noises and experiences an odd smell coming from his upstairs bedroom. So he grabs his camera and starts recording. We're gonna do a complete walkthrough. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my God, no, oh. So did Kent catch a shadow being on tape, or is it all just a hoax? You decide. Hope you guys say something or do something. Oh my god! No! Oh. By the way, Kent has posted many videos of his ghost encounters over on his YouTube channel, Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. So be sure to check it out for his full ghost investigations. Something on the stairs. This next video was sent in to me by Ryan Hulse. Ryan claims that when he was younger, he would randomly see a large black mass, around seven feet tall, at odd locations both inside and outside of his house. Of course, no one ever believed him. So one night he decided to try to catch the strange shadow person on tape. Almost seven years later, and Ryan still has the video. Hey, second date. Been okay so far, but what the f this is what I mean. Crazy. Is it like, like Hello. Phone's upstairs. Oh my f I could I'm leaving the fuck. I'm leaving lights on. Fuck this. I swear to f I seen something. As Ryan ascends the stairs, you can hear a strange hiss. Oh 
Ryan says that after this incident, he never saw the bizarre black mass again. Almost as if this strange confrontation had somehow driven it away. Now, I know everyone is going to ask, why did he turn the lights off? And I actually asked Ryan that exact question myself, and he said that the only time he ever saw the shadow was when the lights were dim or off. So that's why he had the lights turned off to try to record the phenomenon. So, did Ryan Hulse capture a real ghost on camera? Or is it all a hoax? A seven year long hoax? Let me know what you think. Walker in the Woods The Czech YouTube channel TV Twix decided to explore a haunted forest in the Czech Republic. They do the typical spirit box session. But strangely, shortly into the session, the batteries on their camera and the spirit box both begin to die. So, they call it quits. But by far, the strangest thing in the video occurs near the end. As they are wrapping up, they begin to hear strange noises behind them. Some dark figure seems to float across the path behind them and into the woods. They run to investigate, but find nothing there. So did they catch a shadow being on camera? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. Shadow Runner Wesley Wolf had been out drinking all night with his friends on his birthday. When he arrived home early Friday morning, he found that he was locked out of his family home. Since he didn't want to wake his parents, he simply decided to hang out outside and play games on his PlayStation Vita until someone woke up. Then, he started hearing the neighborhood dogs going crazy over something. He decided to record a little video of the field around his house to see if he could catch whatever they might be barking at. He did capture it, but it was something much stranger than he expected. Wesley says that even though he didn't even notice the strange shadow, that soon after recording the video a sudden wave of fear came over him. He went and pounded on the door of the house until one of his parents woke up and let him in. So is this an odd trick of the light? Did Wesley just have a bit too much to drink that night? Or is this a real shadow being caught on camera? You decide. Just around the corner. On the YouTube channel HRJ Paranormal Adventures, a guy called Hillbilly Rob explores some creepy, allegedly haunted, abandoned places. In this video, he's exploring an abandoned nursing home. When he enters one particular room, his EVP meter goes nuts. Okay. Dude, it is going off. Who's in here with us? Now that thing is going nuts. He also receives a bizarre unexplained scratch on his shoulder. But Hillbilly Rob didn't even notice the most bizarre thing that he captured that night until he reviewed his video later. As Rob rounds a corner, he captures what almost looks like the shape of a head peering around the doorway. It's so quick it's hard to even notice, but it actually seems to move back out of sight as he enters. But what do you think? Is this a shadow person or ghost peering around the corner? Or is it just a weird reflection or a camera glitch? 
By the way, you can check out Hillbilly Rob's supernatural investigations over on his channel, HRJ Paranormal Adventures. So, most of the videos in this week's top 5 were actually sent in to me by viewers. And if you want to submit or suggest any videos for the top 5, you can do that at facebook.com slash nukes top 5. Just click on the send message button and link the video. Unfortunately, I don't get to see every single message, but if you attach a scary video or link, it will definitely be passed along to me. 